The 2023 Hyundai Venue is a pint-sized crossover with a quart-sized interior. While it lacks undesirable optional features, such as all-wheel drive, the Venue comes with a host of driver assistance features as well as infotainment goodies including Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. All Venues are equipped with a 121 horsepower four-cylinder engine, front-wheel drive, and a continuously variable automatic transmission CVT. This powertrain lacks power for passing on the highway, but it is perfectly suited for scooting around town. Despite its drawbacks, the venue's impressively low starting price and surprisingly spacious cabin makes it a compelling option for buyers on a budget. Highs, ample cabin space, slew of driver assists, attractive starting price. Lows, lacks composure at speed, struggles to pass on the highway, lags rivals in available features. The 2023 venue receives a few new features. Hyundai has added a rear seat alert to remind drivers of passengers or items that could be forgotten in the back seat after parking. A center console armrest now comes standard, and the digital screen in the instrument cluster has been enlarged to 4.2 inches, and is now rendered in color. The limited trim now comes with a wireless smartphone charging pad. From behind the wheel, the venue is perfectly adequate across the board. You will have no issue commuting, running errands, or taking a cruise to the beach or lake. Acceleration is about average for this class, which is not fast by most accounts. At our test track, the venue needed 9.4 seconds to get up to 60 miles per hour but it's good where it counts for a small city runabout, responding quickly right off the line, with its CVT automatic and easy brakes providing a pretty smooth driving experience overall. It's definitely not an athletic SUV, but its small size keeps it nimble and kind of fun to zip around corners. The front seats have a nice balance of cushion and support. The rear bench cushion is a bit flat, but there's a good recline to the backrest. Ride comfort can be tricky to maintain in smaller vehicles, but the venue won't beat you up even on longer trips. The climate control is single zone only, which makes sense given the venue's size, and we found it sufficient for keeping the cabin cool. There is some wind and road noise at highway speeds, but it's nothing out of the ordinary for this class. The square off doors make it pretty easy to get in and out of. The simplicity of the venue keeps it easy to use. The 8-inch infotainment touchscreen is bright, responsive and easy to use. All other controls, buttons and knobs are clearly labeled, and arranged logically. Forward and side visibility is pretty good, but your over-the-shoulder view is hampered somewhat by the thick rear roof pillars. The available blind spot warning system certainly helps alleviate this issue when switching lanes. We think the top of the line limited trim is the one to get. Not only does it have all the content that comes on the other two models, it also can be had with a unique denim exterior and interior treatment which includes a dark blue exterior hue with a contrasting white painted roof. The cabin also gets rendered in dark blue upholstery with a denim-like fabric insert on the seats. The limited trim level also comes standard with 17-inch wheels, heated front seats, a wireless smartphone charging pad, and in-dash navigation. The venue has just the right amount of technology, and it's easy and straightforward to use. The available six-speaker sound system produces surprisingly good sound that's clear and has a nice amount of punch. The 8-inch touchscreen infotainment slash navigation system comes standard with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto smartphone integration. The navigation system is very reminiscent of today's smartphones in look and feel, and real-time traffic information is nice to have. Wireless charging, which the venue had been missing, is available for the limited trim. Every venue comes with a user-friendly 8.0-inch touchscreen with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto capability. The infotainment system has attractive menus that responded quickly to our inputs and the unit also has useful volume and tuning knobs below the screen. Those looking for built-in navigation with real-time traffic updates can have it on the cell and limited. Otherwise, 
the Base SE has an audio system with four speakers, while the Cell and Limited offer six. The cargo area offers a couple of cool things, an adjustable load floor and a stowable cargo cover. The loading area has a wide opening and low loading height to make it easy to get things in. Up front, there's a sufficient amount of storage space for your personal items. As for child duty, the venue's car seat anchor points are clearly marked on the seat back in an easy to access. Of the Hyundai venue's three trim levels, we think the cell offers the best blend of value and equipment. It includes desirable upgrades over the base SE trim, such as 17-inch alloy wheels, a power sunroof and additional driver assist features. The 2023 venue is Hyundai's most affordable crossover SUV. It comes in SE, cell and limited trim levels, each equipped with a 1.6-litre four-cylinder engine, 121 horsepower, 113 pounds to foot of torque. A continuously variable automatic transmission, CVT, powers the front wheels, and the venue does not offer an all-wheel drive system. Key safety features include, standard forward collision warning and automated emergency braking, standard lane departure warning and lane keeping assist, standard driver attention monitor.